Hello Premi23, it's Mrs Patterson here and I'm going to read you the first chapter of Roald Dahl's book called Fantastic Mr Fox. And this is the story that we're going to be using over the next few weeks as our class novel and we'll be using this to develop our reading skills. The first lesson that you were working on was all about making predictions before we read. And good readers always make predictions before they read, during the reading process and after they read. But before you start reading, the things that help us make predictions about a book are the title, the pictures on the front cover, the blurb, and also by using what you already know. So you might already know some of the stories that Roald Dahl has written, and knowing a little bit about these stories and how he writes gives you a little bit of a clue about what the story might be like. And making a prediction means making a sensible guess about what might happen next in the book and using clues from the text and things you already know to make these predictions, to make these guesses about what might happen next. Chapter 1. The Three Farmers Down in the valley there were three farms. The owners of these farms had done well. They were rich men. They were also nasty men. All three of them were about as nasty and mean as any men you could meet. Their names were Farmer Boggus, Farmer Boonce and Farmer Bean. Boggus was a chicken farmer. He kept thousands of chickens. He was enormously fat. This was because he ate three boiled chickens smothered with dumplings every day for breakfast, lunch and supper. Boonce was a duck and goose farmer. He kept thousands of ducks and geese. He was a kind of pot-bellied dwarf. He was so short his chin would have been underwater in the shallow end of any swimming pool in the world. His food was doughnuts and goose livers. He mashed the livers into a disgusting paste and then stuffed the paste into the doughnuts. This diet gave him a tummy ache and a beastly temper. Bean was a turkey and apple farmer. He kept thousands of turkeys in an orchard full of apple trees. He never ate any food at all. Instead, he drank gallons of strong cider which he made from the apples in his orchard. He was as thin as a pencil and the cleverest of them all. Bogus and Boonce and Bean, one fat, one short, one lean. These horrible crooks so different in looks were nonetheless equally mean. This is what the children round about used to sing when they saw them. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the first chapter of our new class novel, The Three Farmers. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the prediction work you did before you heard the first chapter. And I'm sure that you did a really good job of using what you already know, using the title, using the pictures and using the blurb to help you make some really good predictions about what the farmers might be like and what they might get up to in the story. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.